Hey everybody, welcome to today's Friday Power Flow. I'm Heather, I'm the Bent Yogi. This is about a 35 minute practice, 30, 35 minutes, and we are going to get started right away in Ragdoll. So come on, join me. Come on to your mat and let's begin. Because even a few minutes of yoga, breathing and being in your body, is better than no minutes. So your ragdoll, feet about hips with distance. Let your head drop. You can grab your elbows with your hands. I like opposite hand in the crook of opposite elbow. So not grabbing, but supporting. And then absolutely put a bend in your knees. If you want to stick with more of a halfway lift or put your hands on blocks, you can. Lots of options here. Take a big breath in. Then a long breath out. A big inhale. Then a big exhale. Check in with your feet. Maybe wiggle your toes a little bit. Let there be some space between your toes. And as you tune into your breath, take a big breath in. Then a long breath out. You might find some space between your thoughts, some space for yourself. You can add a little bit of movement here if you want to sway side to side, even just shift the weight of your body around a little bit so you can feel your foundation. This pose, this practice can be really challenging. I think the that maybe the most challenging piece is really just allowing yourself to land here. Give yourself some space. Take a couple of good deep breaths. Less reacting. Take a long breath in. Then a long breath out. And then go ahead and bring your hands down to your mat and step back to your downward facing dog. Or come on into your child pose. Spread your fingers wide. Land your feet. And every time you feel sensation as you practice, everything that comes up in your physical body, right? That is an opportunity to act intentionally instead of reacting. Take a long breath in. And a long breath out. And it's a great practice. So that when we step off our mats, same thing. Something happens, someone says something. We don't have to react. We can, we can act intentionally, feeling grounded, act with strength, with ease, with grace, even with joy. Take a deep breath in and a long breath out. And on your next inhale, come on forward to your high push-up, high plank. Track your shoulders over your wrists. Low belly draws in and up, knees lifted, or you can drop them down for a little more support. Take a big inhale here, and as you exhale, press back, downward facing dog. Hips lift, let your heels soften, and feel if you can drop your head. As you inhale, come on forward, high push up, high plank. Exhale, press back, downward facing dog. Inhale, glide forward, high push up. Exhale, press back, downward facing dog. One more time. Inhale, glide forward, high push up. Keep moving forward this time. Lower halfway down or all the way down. Low push-up chaturanga. You can drop your knees, elbows squeeze in. Inhaling to your upward facing dog. Maybe your cobra or your low cobra. And as you exhale, back to your downward facing dog. Or add in your child's pose. You can add in child's pose at any point during your practice. Take a big inhale. And a big exhale. Take another deep breath in here. And as you exhale, lightly step or jump to the front of your mat. Set your feet. Halfway lift. Flat back. Inhale. Fold forward. Exhale. Inhale. Rise to stand. Come all the way up. Hands high. Heart lifts. Hands to your heart. Exhale. Set your gaze here. You can lower your gaze or close your eyes. Hang on. I'm going to just adjust my other screen. There we go. All right. <clears throat> 
Set your feet, hands at heart. Set your gaze, lower your gaze, or close your eyes. You can set an intention for your practice today if you like. We'll take a big breath in. And a long breath out. On your inhale, sweep up, reach up, and lift up. Fold forward, exhale. Halfway lift, flat back, inhale. Hands to your mat, high push up to low push up, exhale. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward dog or child's pose. Set your hands and your feet. Set your gaze or close your eyes. Take a long breath in. And a long breath out. A big inhale. And a full exhale. One more deep breath in here. Exhale lightly. Walk or jump to the front. Halfway lift. Inhale. Exhale. Fold. Inhale. Rise to stand. Lift up. Reach up. Fold forward. Exhale. Halfway lift. Inhale. High push up to low push up. Exhale. Move forward. Halfway down. Elbows in. Upward dog. Still moving forward. Shoulders roll back. Exhale. Back to your downward facing dog. And take a couple of breaths here. One breath at a time. Taking the time to fill up on your inhale. And empty out on your exhale. Another big breath in. Exhale. Walk or jump to the front. Halfway lift. Inhale. Exhale. Fold. Inhale. Rise up. Reach up. Fill up. Fold forward. Exhale. Empty out. Halfway lift. Inhale. High push up to low push up. Exhale. Upward dog. Take a big breath in. Downward dog. Breath out. Breathe in. And breathe out. A big inhale. And a full exhale. One more deep breath in here. Exhale lightly. Step or jump forward. Halfway lift. Inhale. Exhale. Fold. Utkatasana. Chair pose. Set your feet. Put a big bend to your knees. Reach your hands high or work with your hands at your heart. You can set your gaze. You can close your eyes. Set your feet. You can adjust. You can set your foundation. You can come into the pose. And you can adjust as needed so that it can work for you. And the whole time, whether you're holding a pose or moving through the practice, connect with your breath. Stay connected with your breath. Take a big breath in. Then a long breath out. Maybe sit a little bit lower. Feel the balance of your breath on your inhale, awakening energy. As you exhale, softening, releasing. Take one more big breath in. Fold forward, exhale. Halfway lift, inhale. High push up to low push up, exhale. Inhale, upward dog, exhale, downward dog. Right foot steps forward, warrior one, Virabhadrasana. Step up, rise up. Set your feet, adjust as needed. Reach your hands high or work with your hands at your heart. Set your gaze. You can also close your eyes. Drishti, traditional drishti, gaze at one unmoving point. Helps with the physical balance. Helps with focus. Sometimes, especially practicing at home, though, you set your gaze. I've said this before. You look around, right? Or even when you set your gaze, you still see all the things that need your attention. And that can be distracting. You need your attention too. So allow yourself to be here, stay here, breathe here. Take a big breath in and a long breath out. One more big inhale. Exhale, hands down to your mat. High push up to low push up. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Left foot steps forward. Warrior one. Right foot spins flat. Rise up. Front foot is flat and straight. Big bend in your front knee. Back toes point a little bit forward, lifting, lengthening through your back leg. Again, you can always adjust, adding in space between your feet. Adding the bend to the front knee or easing off. Adding in breath. Take a big breath in. And a long breath out. You might find you can soften your shoulders. Strong foundation, 
So you can lift up out of your hips, lengthen through the sides of your body. Let the crown of your head reach up towards the sky. Take a deep breath in. And a long breath out. One more big inhale here. Exhale, hands down to your mat. High push-up to low push-up. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Take a full breath in. And empty out. And breathe in. And breathe out. Once more, big inhale. Exhale, walk or jump to the front. Halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, fold. Utkatasana, chair pose. Sit down, reach up, fold forward, exhale. Halfway lift, inhale. High push up to low push up, exhale. Inhale, upward dog, exhale, downward dog. Right foot steps, warrior one, back foot flat, rise up. Exhale, hands come to your mat. High push up to low push up. Inhale, upward dog, exhale, downward dog. Left foot steps, warrior one. Root down, reach up. Exhale, hands come to your mat. High push up to low push up. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Right foot again, warrior one, rise up. Add in your warrior two. Open out. Lengthen through your arms, your fingers. You can bring your hands to your heart if that works better. Long and strong through your back leg. Some space between your toes. Take a big breath in. And a long breath out. Breathe in. And breathe out. You might find you can lengthen your stance, dip into your front knee. Stay grounded through your feet, spin your palms to the sky. Take your right hand high, reverse your warrior. Reach up and go back. Keeping that bend in your front knee. Then you have a little more space and support to lift from your right hip, lengthen through your right side body. Take a big inhale here. Exhale. Hands to your mat. High push up to low push up. Inhale. Upward dog. Exhale. Downward dog. Right foot again. Warrior one. Rise up. Open out. Warrior two. Take your right hand high. Reverse your warrior. Side angle. Parsva Konasana. Bring your right elbow lightly on your right leg. Extend your left arm up to the sky. Set your gaze. You can close your eyes. Take a big breath in. And a long breath out. Feel your right elbow on your right leg. Use it for support. Also feel your, your left arm here reaching up. So reaching up, lifting up, and then maybe you're lightening up on your right arm. Take a long breath in and a long breath out. Maybe you are lightening up on yourself, feeling where you are, and simply enjoying what you can do. Instead of focusing on what you can't do, enjoying what you can do. Take your top arm, lengthen it forward. You can slide your bottom hand down, inside or outside the front foot. And enjoying your practice, but also our practice. Even when we're practicing like this, we're not in the same room. Still sharing the practice, sharing space, and supporting each other. Take a deep breath in, and a long breath out. Reach your top arm up, wrap it around behind your back. Come on into your half bind, or play around with your full bind. Lengthen through the sides of your body. Shoulders away from ears. Little lift to your chest and your heart. Take a full inhale. And a long exhale. Reach your top arm back up. Let it bring you up to your warrior two here. Straighten your right leg. Drop your hands. Pivot your toes towards the side of your mat. Set your feet parallel or a little bit pigeon-toed. Interlace your fingers at your low back. Shoulders roll back. Lift through your legs, lift your chest, lift your heart. A little bit of a back bend, a big inhale. Fold forward as you exhale. Let your hands come up and over for the shoulder rinse. You can feel what you have room for. And if you feel like you don't have room, then simply drop your hands down to the ground. Take a full breath in. And a long breath out. Another big inhale here. Exhale, release your hands. Come halfway up with your peace fingers. Hook your big toes, palms face in. Halfway lift long spine, and then drop into the forward fold. You can use the hold on your toes to help draw you into the forward fold. Physically use your breath. 
give your intention. I draw you into this moment, allow you to be here in this moment. Take a deep breath in and a long breath out. Release your toes, hands under your shoulders, come halfway up. Start to walk your hands towards your left toes, pivoting around towards the back edge of your mat. Come on into your runner's lunge, plant your hands, step back, high push up. Here, left hand under your left shoulder, heels to your left side plank, Vashtisthasana. You can drop the left knee, work with your left forearm on your mat. Press out through your heel or your heels. Take this top arm and lengthen it overhead. So get really long through your whole right side body. Take one more big inhale here. Right hand lightly comes down. High push up to low push up. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog or child's pose. Take a big breath in and a long breath out. Another full inhale here. Exhale lightly. Walk or jump to your hands. Halfway lift. Inhale, exhale, fold. Inhale, rise to stand. Lift up, reach up. Fold forward, exhale. Halfway lift, inhale. High push up to low push up, exhale. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Right foot steps forward. Crescent lunge. Keep your left heel lifted. Bring your hands to your heart. Take a big inhale. Twist to your right, left elbow towards the outside of your right leg. Space right to left between your feet helps a lot with balance. You can keep your back knee lifted or you can bring it down to the ground for a little more support. Feel your hands connect. Feel if you can use this connection to lift your chest, tap into the length in your spine. Take a long breath in and a long breath out. And you can keep your hands together or you can open up. You might land your left hand under your left shoulder on a block. Maybe you work with the left arm on the outside of the right leg. Work with your body. Work with your breath, your intention. Let the practice meet you where you are, right here, right now. Take one more big inhale. As you exhale, bring both hands down to your mat. Connect into your right foot. Lift your left leg. Standing leg raise. Standing leg split. Hands can stay on your mat. You can bring one or both hands to your standing ankle. My, this pose for me definitely looks more like a standing leg raise than a standing leg split. Doesn't really matter how it looks. Right? Feel, feel what's happening. And it's okay if you feel a little unsteady. Or you have the steadiness of your breath, your intention. A lot of support right here, right now. Take one more big inhale. And as you exhale, left foot down beside the right. Halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, fold. Utkatasana, chair pose. Sit down, sit back, reach up. Fold forward, exhale. Halfway lift, inhale. High push up to low push up, exhale. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Left foot steps forward, warrior one. Right foot flat, rise up. Exhale, hands come to your mat. High push up to low push up. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, Downward dog, right foot steps, warrior one, Virabhadrasana. Exhale, hands come to your mat, chaturanga, low push up. Upward dog, a big inhale, downward dog, exhale, left foot steps again, warrior one, rise up, open out, warrior two. Check in, check in with your feet, with your breath, with your intention. And Absolutely. Let part of your intention be self-care, caring for yourself, giving yourself some time, some attention, so you can, so you can feel better. And sometimes you only have a little bit of time. This isn't a long practice, 30 minutes. Sometimes you have less than that, five minutes. Right? But just setting a little bit of time aside, a little bit of time aside for yourself to be in your body, to take a big breath in and a long breath out. Spin your palms to the sky. Take your left hand high, reverse your warrior. Reach up and go back. Ground it through your feet. Lift from your left hip, lengthen through your left side body. Lengthen your left arm, your left fingers. Take a really big inhale. Exhale, hands down to your mat. High push up to low push up. Inhale, upward dog, exhale. Downward dog, left foot again, warrior one, rise up, open out, warrior two, left hand high, reverse your warrior, side angle, Parsva Konasana, left elbow on your left leg, right arm extends up to the sky, open across the front of your body, 
check in, feel where you are. Take a big inhale and a long exhale. You might soften your shoulders a bit. Set your feet to soften your toes. Connect through your whole back foot, but maybe a little more emphasis into the baby toe side of the back foot so you can lift and lengthen through your back leg. Reach your top arm a little higher, lift and lengthen, and then take your top arm and extend it forward. Bottom hand again, the option to slide it down, keep your left elbow at your left leg. Right shoulder gently rolls back here. Notice if your left knee starts to roll to the right, you can use your arm as a self-assist. Take a long breath in, and a long breath out. Reach your top arm up, wrap it around behind your back, come on into your half bind, maybe you go for the full bind. Go for one breath at a time, a big breath in, and a long breath out, so that whatever it looks like, you can feel your breath. Full body breath in, and a full breath out. Now reach your top arm up, let it bring you up to your warrior two. Straighten your left leg, drop your hands, pivot your toes again towards the side. Turn your toes out, heels, and bend your knees. Come on down into your horse. You can start with your hands at your heart. Belly draws in up, shoulders over hips. On your inhale, sweep your arms up. Exhale, hands through heart. Sit a little bit lower. Inhale, sweep up, reach up. Exhale, hands through heart. Inhale, sweep up, lengthen, lift. Exhale, hands through heart. Add a little bend to your knees. Inhale, sweep up, reach up, hold here for five, four, three, two, one. Straighten your legs, pivot your toes and heels out. You can still have your hands up. Take a big inhale. As you exhale, start to fold forward. Pause at the halfway point, strong core. And soften your toes, take a big inhale. And as you exhale, hands come under your shoulders. Breathe in here, fold forward. As you exhale, you can walk your hands back through your feet as a self-assist. If you want to stick in a crow or a tripod, go for it. Long breath in. Long breath out. Weight of your body might come just a little more forward into the balls of your feet. Take another big breath in. And a long breath out. And with your hands under your shoulders, come halfway up. Walk your hands towards your right toes. Pivot back around towards the front edge of your mat. Plant your hands. Step back, high push up. Right hand under your right shoulder. Heels to your right side plank. Vashtisthasana. Drop the right knee or bring the right forearm down. Lengthen. Tailbone towards your heels. Belly draws in and up. And then extend your top arm. Lengthening it forward. Lengthening through your whole left side body. If you want to lift the top foot or take a tree on its side, you can. Take a big breath in. Left hand lightly comes down. High push up to low push up. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Take a full breath in. And a full breath out. Another big inhale here. Exhale lightly. Step or jump to the front. Halfway lift. Inhale, exhale, fold. Inhale, rise up. Lift up, reach up. Fold forward, exhale. Halfway lift, inhale. High push up to low push up, exhale. Inhale, upward dog, exhale, downward dog. Left foot steps forward, crescent lunge. Right heel stays lifted. Left foot a little to your left, bring your hands to your heart. Take a big inhale, twist to your left. Right elbow towards the outside of your left leg. You can lift your chest up using this connection of your hands. Let your hips sink down, back knee lifted or lowered. Spine is long, hands can stay together, or they can open up. Right hand can land under your right shoulder. You can work the arm on the outside of the leg. A little more press through the big toe side of your front foot. Take a full inhale. And a full exhale. A big breath in. And a long breath out. Feel the little bit of lift in the back of your right knee, so your right leg is long and active. Take one more big inhale, and as you exhale, both hands come down to your mat, press into your left foot, lift your right leg, standing leg raise, standing leg split. You can stay in more of a halfway lift, or you can drop into the forward fold, set your gaze, maybe bring one 
or both hands to your standing ankle. You can use a block or blocks under your hands. Strong through your core. Take a big breath in. And a long breath out. Drishti helps a lot. Take a big inhale. Right foot down the side, the left. Halfway lift. Inhale. Exhale. Fold. Inhale. All the way up to stand. Rise and reach and lift. Fold forward. Exhale. Halfway lift. Inhale. High push up to low push up. Exhale. Inhale. Upward dog. Exhale. Downward dog. Take a big breath in. And a long breath out. Bring your feet together a little bit forward. Take your right leg up to the sky. Bend your right knee for your down dog hip opener. If you want to flip your dog, you can let that foot pull you over. You can also work with your left knee down. And from here, come on into your half pigeon, taking your right knee forward to your right thumb. Left leg long behind you. Long through your spine. You can set up the variation on your back if that works better. Take a long breath in. And a long breath out. A really big inhale, fill up. And as you exhale, opportunity to release, to soften, settle in, be a little more supported. Take a big inhale. And a long exhale. Take a deep breath in, then a long breath out. Set your hands under your shoulders and make your way back to your downward facing dog. You can stick in a three-legged dog, a flow, you can add in a tabletop, some cat cows. Take a big breath in, then a long breath out. And then bring your feet together a little bit forward. Your left leg to the sky, bend your left knee for your down dog hip opener. And again, you can flip on this side. Work with your right knee down, whatever variation you like. And then making your way here into your half pigeon on this side. It might be similar to the other side, it might be different. I know I say that a lot, but that's because I think we, we need to hear that hear that this side doesn't have to be like the other side. This practice doesn't have to be like your last practice. Your practice doesn't have to be like anyone else's practice. You can hear it, but also feel it. Feel that hey, wherever you are, right here, right now, you are right here, right now. It's just right. Take a long breath in. And a long breath out. Take a big breath in, then a full breath out. Hands under your shoulders, come on up. 
So you your back leg forward. Come on into your boat pose, Navasana. 30 minutes goes by really quickly. Bend knees here. Take your arms forward. And then take your knees to the right and your hands to the left. And then switch. Hands to the right, knees to the left. So just go side to side here. Strong core, chest lifted for 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Come to center. Come into your boat pose. Bent knees or straight legs. Hold here for 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Lower to a hover. Hold here for 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Come all the way down and set up for your bridge or your wheel. Set your feet about hips width distance. Set your foundation, a big inhale, and come on up. Come up for your bridge, come up for your wheel. You might add in rest here. It's strong foundation, steady breath. Take a big breath in and a long breath out. Breathe in and breathe out. One more big inhale, fill up, lift up, and as you exhale, slowly lower down. Come onto your back, soles of your feet together, knees to the sides for Supta Baddha Konasana. Take a big breath in, empty out. Ah. And we'll move right from here into Shavasana. So you can stay here, you can extend your legs, add any last poses that feel right. You can take your legs up if you prefer. Soften your face, your jaw. Soften your shoulders, your fingers, your toes. Allow yourself to soften. Another big breath in. And a long breath out. Here you can wiggle your fingers and toes, just bring some gentle movement to your body. You might roll your head gently side to side. When you're ready, you can draw your knees to your chest, roll to one side, and make your way to seated. Bring your hands to your heart. Could you hear Winston snoring in Shavasana? Bring your hands to your heart, set your gaze, lower your gaze, or close your eyes. Together, let's take a big breath in 
Then a long breath out. Drawing your thumbs to your forehead, to your third eye center. Together we say, Namaste. Thanks, everybody. Thanks for joining me for today's Friday Power Flow. You probably know this already, but I am Heather. I'm the Bent Yogi. 30 minutes goes by pretty quickly. So if you are looking for longer practices, you can find me in my studio, Sanctuary Power Yoga. You can find me on Patreon. Membership starts for as little as $5 a month. Leave a comment, like, subscribe, share with your friends, and most important, take care of yourself, take care of each other. I'll see you soon. Oh.